What's up guys, my name is Rugus808, and welcome to the GIMP tutorial of how to change your uh, custom carfight area playmat. So this is kind of like uh, a series that I'm doing here, so uh, this is being the last one where uh, if you don't have Photoshop or, you know, so if you don't want to either pirate Photoshop or buy Photoshop, whatever the case may be, um, you can use GIMP, which is a free program. The only problem though for GIMP is that it is quite limited, so uh, for this tutorial at least you're only limited to changing the uh, background for the playmat and then also the uh, colors for the rearguard circles and vanguard circle and such. So we'll get started here um, real quickly. So we have the file like opened up here. So we have uh, pretty much the entire top field is over here, so drop zone, deck, damage, uh, this is supposed to say guard. Anyway, so this is supposed to be guard, guard zone, top or er, top rear guards, and then top vanguard. Uh, so you have those, and then same thing for bottom. So you have that bottom vanguard, rear guard, damage, or guard, sorry, guard, damage, deck, and drop. Uh, and then we also have this kind of black tint to make it easy to tell between the difference of the playmat and the rear guard circles and all that sort of stuff. Uh, and then we also have our backup images here, so the original playmat, just in case you need it, or also just a copy of the bottom field, or a copy of the field, so uh, rear guard circles and vanguard circles and the uh, guard zone. So again, if you need those, you, you can use those. So uh, we're going to start off with changing the playmat. So you can notice right now there's nothing behind, so we're going to change that. So I imported an image from a very happy and very... um very happy and you know it's just an overall good feel sort of anime okay I'm not lying about that too much but any anyway anyway um, so yeah so we'll get started here so have my image imported here make sure it's below the dark tint uh, if you'd like to have that you can press the I button get uh, deletes or it makes the um, dark tint layer invisible uh, so we're gonna do that for now so then we can actually work on the art folder or file excuse me so what we're going to do is we're going to resize the image first. So we're going to hit Scale Tool. Make sure that the Keep Aspect checkbox is uh, selected. So we're going to select the image. And then we're going to hit the minus button. Ooh, not that one. Ah, come on, please work. Nope. So we're going to select the image. There we go. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. So we're going to select the image. Uh, so then we can kind of descale and see the entire image. And then we're going to hit one of the corners here, and kind of like I was saying for the Photoshop tutorial, um, so this is to make sure that the aspect ratio does not change, um, and it doesn't look like a weird mixture of like you, you know, scrunched it or something else like that. Um, pretty sure there's no undo, so we'll just do that real quick. There we go. So anyway, we grab one of the corners, kind of downsize it a little bit, um, we can move this box over, get that stuff out of our way. Plus minus or plus button to go back, um, and then you'll notice in the center of the image here it has the this little circle. So you can hold and select that to move the image around while you're resizing. Uh, and then you see these like little blue dotted lines here. So this is the guidelines um, that uh, was in Photoshop, but you can also also it was imported here so this is like the halfway point of the playmat and these are the edges so you can descale or rescale up so let's say we want to try and get like most of these most of the people in here so we'll do something like that perfect so as soon as we're done we can either hit select or enter or just scale boom there we go have scaled so next we're going to take the rectangle tool here and we're going to delete the part of the image that is kind of bleeding off into the other part of the playmat. So we have our rectangle tool right over here. Uh, we're going to select just one of the corners like outside of the, the image here. Kind of scale it to around here, making sure to line up with the uh, dotted blue line. Perfect. And then so we have this entire selection uh, or part box within, within here selected. So make sure you have the file that you want to delete uh, selected, and if you do, hit delete, 
and within everything within this box uh, it's gonna delete whatever image you know whatever is inside from this folder file within the box here so I'm uh, gonna select here and do that first there we go so there you can see um, now we have our image which is a uh, you know half and half just only only this half here looks nice so dark tint we can see how that kind of looks again like I was talking about before so the dark tint kind of makes it easier to tell between damage zone and uh, you know or the rear guard circles and the play mat um, you can do this without having the dark tint by adding a bunch of effects but um, which are which is possible for GIMP, but uh, I would prefer so for more Photoshop, if anything, since it is kind of kind of a roundabout way of doing stuff. Uh, so if you want to have the same art, um, we're gonna do this. So we're gonna right click, duplicate layer, and then you know still having the the tint deselected, so we can still work within this. Uh, over here, we're gonna select the rotate tool, and then we're gonna select our image. And it doesn't matter which way you go or direction you're going, you're basically doing a 180 flip. And then just to make sure that we're getting the image, you know, not moving, you're making sure the image is perfectly, you know, flipped over, reversed. Uh, we're gonna be using this. So we're gonna be hitting the, the down on center Y. That's a little bit too much. So basically, what we're looking for is so then you can kind of see where we made our edit uh, within this box here. So we're gonna try and make it, uh, try to level it down so then that uh, it matches up with the the blue line before. And it looks like we might need to scoot this over a little bit. So you can either do that or um, you know, or how we had it before. You just need to reselect. Make the square image again, reselect what you don't need from here, and kind of go from there, um, which we'll actually do. So we'll just do redo this real quick. So 180 flip. Uh, bring this over. Uh, make sure it's leveled. Perfect. And then we're doing that part just so then it's a little easier, so we're not kind of messing around with um, moving the image. And you know, for if you're a perfectionist like kind of like how I am, um, I want the image to be exactly 180. You know. So select. Uh, delete, boom, select somewhere else, get rid of the the selection, and there you go. So, rotated, flipped. Uh, so if you want to either do the full image, it's kind of similar to how we just did it, so just import the file into here, uh, resize it to how it is, you know, still within keeping the restraints, restraints of the image, or same thing as well if you want to have it, you know, two images, two separate images, you're basically doing the same exact thing, importing, re, uh, resizing it, and then with the new image that's going to be up here, just 180, flip it, and bring it up here. So that's uh, how to change the playmat. And then lastly, we have changing the uh, colors of the rearguard circles and vanguard circles and such. So we're going to hit plus plus. Hold down space. If it wants me to. It does not want me to. There we go. Here we go. Holding space. Kind of holding space and then wherever your mouse is, that's where it's uh, going to move. So boom, so we're going to hit the path tool, and for this example we're going to do the rear guard circles. Um, same exact thing is going to be applicable for um, for vanguard circle and uh, the guard zone and all that sort of stuff. So for GIMP, um, you can't really connect the paths from what I can tell, so usually I'll just like get the, the path really close. Um, there probably is a way to actually like connect the the paths but every time I've done so I just select the the end of the path and it's not really connecting it's still making more path to lines but anyway so we have our path you know we have this selected uh, we're gonna go from select to from path and that pretty much like selects our entire uh, pretty much selects whatever within the path that we just made so we're gonna go down go to our file oh sorry actually we already have it selected so normally you you know basically what we have right now this is where our bottom rear guard circle was so we have this selected uh, so from there we're gonna go to colors and then colorify and then here you can see a little preview you can unselect that if you like you know you can try to go from one of these default colors 
or if you want to make your own custom color you hit that a little uh, box right next to custom color and then you can kind of mess around here so you can do either that and it shows you um, kind of a little preview of what the color is let's say we want like a pink color go here boom so we can tell to see for example yeah sure that looks fine and there you go that changes the color for the rear guard circles um, kind of a rinse wash repeat sort of thing for the entire the rest of the circles so you'll need to do that um, it's not gonna look as nice as it was before but it gets, gets the job done if you want to um, if you want to do this you know change the colors so yeah hopefully uh, this helps you guys out again if you guys can for this I would suggest going getting Photoshop uh, because you can do more options um, and there's just more overall uh, customization that you can do for your playmat. So again, hopefully this guy's helps. Uh, if you have any suggestions or questions or anything else like that, please be sure to leave a comment below and we'll try our best to uh, answer them. But until then, thank you guys for watching and see you guys later.